Here we'll talk about National AIDS Control Program or NACP. Coming to introduction, it is launched in 1987 to combat AIDS and HIV. So under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, implemented by NACO. So it is under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, which is implemented by NACO. It is launched in 1987. Coming to aims, it has three aims. One to stop the prevention of further transmission of HIV. That means prevention of further HIV cases and decrease in morbidity and mortality associated with HIV and decrease in social economic impact from the HIV. Right. So prevention of cases, morbidity, mortality, and social economic impact from the HIV. So these are the three aims of NACP. So it is conducted in five phases. NACP one, two, three, four, five. Right. So the one is from ninety two to ninety nine, ninety nine to two thousand six, two thousand seven to two thousand twelve. 12 to 17 17 to 24 so this is the latest nacp file which was conducted from 2017 to 2024 coming to the targets you have two targets one is 000 i remembered it like this so one is 000 another is 95 95 95 target so let us see about the 000 so zero deaths due to hiv zero incidents that means no new cases from the hiv and zero discrimination associated with hiv so the target was to decrease the deaths to zero which were due to hiv and decrease the new cases to zero and also decrease the discrimination to zero which is associated with hiv death incidence discrimination 000 coming to 95 95 95 target it focuses on ending aids by 2030 so here 95% of the people living with hiv should know their status and should be on this art therapy and which leads to viral suppression 95% of the people living with hiv should know their status whether they have hiv or not or what type of hiv or what is the severity of the hiv so they should know the status and then they should be on this art therapy they should start taking the treatment so 95% of the people living with hiv should know their status and again 95% of the people living with hiv should start their art therapy and also 95% of the people living with hiv should have viral suppression that means the medicines once they start taking this art therapy which will lead to viral suppression right so status art therapy viral suppression so this is the 95 95 95 target coming to the services under the nacp4 which was from 2012 to 2017 the goal was to stop or revert epidemic in india so in nacp4 it mainly focused on stopping or reversing the epidemic which was in india because of hiv right so now let us see the prevention services so the first is target interventions for the high risk group so what are the high risk group of people these are female sex workers or males having sex with males hijras transgenders injection of drug drug users who inject the drug and also truck and migrants people so all of these are the high risk group of people right female sex workers males having sex with males hijras transgenders drug injections or uh, iv drug users truckers and migrants so for this group of people for this high risk group of people we are making some services so these are the targeted interventions for hiv high risk group of people so let us see the interventions the disease link worker scheme so basically what do you mean by link worker so if you have a community in that community one person for the community will come out will learn about this aids and hiv and all and go back and educate the people of the community about this aids hiv spread the awareness so here the link worker or the person who went and learned about this all of the information is coming back and educating the people of his community right so he is mainly reaching out to this high risk group of people and the vulnerable population with the information and knowledge he has learned on prevention and risk reduction of hiv or the stis right and also he helps in condom promotion distribution and counseling of uh, people with hiv and also treatment of stis and opportunistic infections so they create enabling environment for the people living with hivs which helps in reducing the stigma so basically one educated person from the community will educate the whole population spread the awareness reduce the stigma and helps in condom promotion distribution treatment of stis which helps in controlling the disease right so this is through the link workers so that is why it is known as link worker scheme now coming to the next program which is prevention and control of stis so here it is also known as std control program in this program will detect the cases as early as possible and will treat them so which will prevent the complications of the disease right so the major strategy is to control the spread of hiv infection so what happens in the rural areas and also normally in the society stds or the sexually transmitted diseases are associated with social stigma so people do not come forward that often right and they only come to the hospital once the conditions get worse right to prevent this what are we doing we are integrating the services of treatment of reproductive tract infections and also sexually tract diseases sexual transmitted diseases at all levels of health healthcare so what are we doing if the people are coming to you with any of the symptoms like urethral or anorectal discharge vaginitis genital ulcers lower abdominal pain pelvic inflammatory diseases inguinal pubes 
so all these reproductive tract infections we are associating them along with the sexually transmitted diseases so we are giving treatment for both of them at all levels of healthcare so that is the integrated services we are doing because people when it comes to the sexually transmitted diseases because it is associated with social stigma they do not come forward so once they are coming forward even at whatever the stage it might be we are treating them completely so to prevent the further complications of this disease right so nusnaco has branded stis or rti service centers as suraksha clinic so here you have seven kits the first kit is gray green the third is white blue red yellow and last one is black just remember the last one is black and the first one is gray which are like similar colors right and in between you have green white blue red yellow the first one you have to remember this discharge so urethral discharge anorectal discharge and cervicitis for this we'll give this kit one which is a gray color you have some medicines in it and in the kit two it is given for vaginitis so it is in the green color the kit kit three four five are given for genital ulcers we have different varieties of genital ulcers so for depending upon that you'll give kit three or four or five but remember the three four five are given for genital ulcers and the last one bubo this black color kit is given for inguinal bubo right and this yellow color kit it is given for lower abdomen pain and pelvic inflammatory diseases so this is about the suraksha clinic you have seven kits gray the first one is gray last one is black in the last one you will give it for the bubo the first one you give it for the discharge and in between you have green white blue red yellow so green is given for vaginitis white blue red this three is given for genital ulcers the kit three four and five and this sixth one which is yellow it is given for lower abdominal pain and pelvic inflammatory diseases and coming to the next strategy which is blood safety so even if you go for this blood donation or any other thing or blood testing and all then take the blood and test for this hiv hpv hcv syphilis and malaria so all these tests are done to check if in case any person is having this hiv or hpv or sexually transmitted diseases right so this is the screening technique which is implemented by government to screen as many people as possible so blood is tested for detecting any infections zonal blood testing centers are there which link to other blood banks and overall it helps in screening the whole population for this hiv and all right so apart from this blood safety and the above services we also have hiv counseling and testing services prevention of parent to child transmission condom promotion IEC and PCC which is information education communication workplace intervention so these are all the strategies to prevent the spread of hiv it comes to care support and treatment for that lab services of cd4 testing and investigations right cd4 testing is important for detection of hiv again lab services for cd4 testing should be there early detection of hiv in infants children less than 18 months of age and free first line and second line art therapy so that people will come forward and take the treatment and pediatric art therapy for the children right so this is for adults and this is for children and the fifth point is hiv and tb coordination co treatment and treatment of the opportunistic infections nutritional and the psycho support psychosocial support so first point is cd4 and the next point is children under children you are going to write two points one is early detection of hiv under 18 months of age and also we are going to begin them with the pediatric art therapy and then comes the adult so write about this free distribution of first line and second line art and also you are providing this nutritional and the psychosocial support so these are the two points which is related to adults you are providing free first line second line art therapy and also you are providing nutrition and the psychosocial support and next point you are going to write about this opportunistic infections so if hiv is associated with tb you are going to give them treatment for both of the cases right so co treatment is given for hiv and tb and also you are going to treat opportunistic infections other than hiv so this is about care and support and here we'll see about national strategic plan for hiv and aids and sti in the 2017 to 2024 that is nacp 5 right so this is the phase 5 so here again we have three goals related to 000 strategy one is zero new deaths because of hiv zero new infections and also zero discrimination or the stigma associated with hiv so write about 000 and then write about the states and ui what is states and ui so according to this prevalence or incidence of uh, hiv we are going to divide the states into mature states emerging states and the low states right so in the mature you have high incidence and prevalence where the disease is high the frequency is high and in emerging there is a rate of increase in rate of infection of the disease and in the low the situation of this hiv is low in this state and you have to maintain it that way because it's a good thing because you have low number of cases in that place you have to maintain it that way coming to the objectives so first we have to decrease 80% of the new cases by 2024 and 95% of the people living with hiv should know their status 95% should begin this art therapy 
and retention by 2024 again write about this 95 95 95 strategy and then elimination of mom to child transmission of hiv syphilis by 2020 elimination of hiv related stigma and discrimination by 2020 facilitate sustainable nacp services delivery by 2024 so in the objectives of this national strategic plan we are going to write 95 95 95 strategy right so first we'll write about this 95 95 95 strategy and then we are going to write decrease in 80 percent of new infections by 2024 so first 95 and then we'll write about this 80 percent point afterwards we're going to write about 2020 so in 2020 what they are trying to do they're trying to stop transmission of this hiv from mom to child and also stigma so write about mom and the stigma right so first we are going to write about 95 then about 80 and then about 2020 where mom and child and stigma comes and then we'll facilitate the sustainable NACP service delivery by 2024. The IEC, which is Information Education and the Communication, under which you have this red ribbon clubs. So here, a group of people will stand up for this HIV and all. So they'll spread awareness about it. So group of people from the same age group. So this encourages this peer peer messaging on the HIV. So they'll also clear their doubts and myths about this HIV. And they promote voluntary blood donations right so this is the importance of red ribbon clubs and now let us see about this art regimen so here we have three categories the first people living with hiv greater than 10 years of age and greater than 30 cages which is seen in most of the cases and with hiv one so for them we will give this tenofovir lamivudin efavirenz so these are fixed dose combination single pill given once a day and next comes people living with hiv less than 30 cages right and abnormal serum creatine levels so I remember it because less than 30 kgs will be having less muscle mass and also serum creatinine is somewhere related to the muscle mass. So right. So they'll be having some abnormal creatine levels. So the people living with HIV with less than 30 kgs and abnormal creatine levels, you are going to give lamivudin and efavirenz, which is same. And instead of tenofovir, you are going to give abacavir, right? And then comes the last group of people, the females who have been treated with nefirapin first or exposure in the past. So females with the nefirabin exposure in the past, so for them, we'll give tenofovir, lamivudin, but in the place of efavirenz, we are going to give retonavir. I remember it because in the nefirapin and in the retonavir, we have R and N. So in if the females are exposed to nefirapin, which have N and R, you're going to give retonavir, which has R and N. And now comes the fourth category where the pregnant or breastfeeding females who are having HIV. For them, if they are never exposed to this nefiravin, we are going to give the normal art therapy which will give for this about 10 years and about 30 kgs that is tenofovir, lamivudin and efavirenz, right? If they are previously exposed to this nefirapin, that is tenofovir, lamivudin and retonavir, right? So this is about this art regimen. So this is about it. Bye.